quick tip you can also texture the hair with transparency if you set up the materials like i told you to to copy and paste from the v-ray textures the setup and then you go to materials and settings and blend mode you can do different blend modes like clip or hash or blend uh, blend's a difficult one but it usually is fine when you turn on back face culling it's just a little weird sometimes and all you do is you go to texture paint and you go here and you pick erase alpha as your brush and let's select this part here actually you can do strokes like this actually if you have the radius on you can do things like this and get some more detail in there and if you don't like it you can always go back to mix and it back with a normal color remember to save hi there rain here uh the yesterday i believe if i get this video uploaded today we did the hat and now we get to the rigging part this should be a lot simpler than it might sound uh hopefully because your hair should be in a similar shape to the veroid this should be on the on the faster side of things, but let's see how we go for now. Alrighty then, let's get into it, shall we? Here we have a lot of things we need to think about. The hair texture is is pretty all right. Could do with some more cleaning up, but for now I'm gonna leave it as is. I might change it later. Also, if you feel like you need to add more parts around it's, it's not too difficult to for now we're gonna leave it as is um but this i like if we go to this layer let's try and let's try and get some things sorted out oh actually first let me turn on screencast you guys can see what i'm typing and let's see so we're gonna name these hair and we have the hair base and we also have the fringe we can actually hit ctrl a on that fringe all transformations and rotation and scale we have some bits on the side too let's apply this mirror actually I like it as it is so we're just going to apply that and we are going to merge these together so control and click on the fringe just like that and then move your mouse over the model control and J now these are together I'm going to do some more click control click Control J. These are together now. Um, I actually want to leave this as is, but I am going to apply the mirror. I'm going to apply the mirror on that. I am literally just going on the down arrow and hitting apply. Um, and now we could do with this we're gonna name it hair bands bands and this actually i'm going to control click on the hair base and control j so this is together we have the fringe and we have the hair now we can apply this mirror too i'm gonna click on the armature gonna click on hair bands control click on hair control click on fringe and then lastly control click on the armature i'm actually not lifting up my control key once you don't really need to do that and then we're gonna put our mouse over the model control p and then armature deform so this is this is in a different collection 
so it's not done exactly what we want to do but that is fine we can literally just control click on all of these and then drag it into this and it's solved simple as that um i don't know why i have two different collections i'm just gonna save this before we crash but it's not that big of a deal we did actually have two bones for the hair and now it's just one um what we are going to do is let's click on the fringe first and then let's grab this hair you can see the bones are in a slightly strange place but it's not that big of a deal we're gonna steal the rig from this hair and throw it on the hair that we just made so we can actually rename this if it makes it easier for you you can rename it let's just t type old hair and we can hide that for now for this i'm going to add modifier data transfer we are going to grab the data transfer from the body because if you remember correctly let's hide the archer for a second if you remember correctly if we hide this the body is what we took the shape from so hair base data transfer source body if you guys can see that we're going to click this vertex data let's click that gonna bring down the drop down menu click vertex groups generate data layers and apply just like that now we can go into pose mode if we just go to the armature and go to pose mode we should be able to grab the head if that's the right bone rx and that entire bit moves with the head In R Y to rotate in the Y, and the neck to R Y. Now that's done. The rest is not. So let's do it again. Let's go into cats and stop pose mode. We have the fringe. We want to grab data from old hair because the old hair has a fringe. So we'll do add modifier we're on the fringe layer remember add modifier data transfer and we just do the same as what we did before except the source this time is old hair so vertex data vertex group generate data layers and apply gonna test this before saving it which is always a good habit gonna move this the y and this to Y, this can move that, and this we can move that. Now it should also be stuck to the head, and it is, which is good. And this is okay. All right, so pose mode. So that that's working. Um, now for the hair, we're going to do same thing, but from old hair again. They transfer source old hair. Um, vertex data, vertex group, generate data layers, and apply. I'll save. We can go to pose mode. Grab that, rotate it. Oh, maybe this one. Yep, there we go. Okay. I'm just gonna hit L on that. Oh, it's not connected, is it? Nope, it's not connected. So just hit L and select all of them. We can do something from here. I don't know what it's called. But if we do individual origins and then we rotate like this, it'll rotate the whole hair. 
easy as pie. So that's actually rigged, um, except for the hairbands. Hairbands, let's just grab data from the head. Oh, let's apply the mirror too. Why not? Add modifier, data transfer. This one we're just going to grab from the body. Vertex data, vertex group, generate data layers, and apply. Okay, pose mode. And it's rigged. You need to select the right bones though, otherwise it won't move. Alright, that's rigging the hair done. However, we can go one step further. We can definitely go one step further. If you, if you if you want to decide, hey, I don't want to make this more difficult than it needs to be, fine, you can stop here. If you want things to be of a higher quality, then, then, then watch this part. We're going to go into white painting mode and customise this. We're also going to adjust the armature so it's more suited. And we're going to get rid of the hair. So let's just save this. Let's go to the old hair. We don't need it anymore. It's not going to serve us any purpose except for taking up space. So let's just get rid of that. Gone. Go to the armature. We're going to go to edit mode. Let's save this actually. Oh, we save. And we're going to get rid of these front hair bones because we never use them. If you use them, then obviously you don't get rid of them. X and delete. Now, if I'm right, these should be mirrored. It has a stupid name though, which I'm not very fond of. So, actually, let's let's rename these bones too. Why not? This is the left side of the model. So, left pony tail. I'm just gonna select that. Control copy V. Control V. And it will it will number them all for us. Control V. Control V. Now here we're going to control V but change the left to right. Control copy this and then control V. Make sure all these are connected. This girl is going to make things easier for us. Connected. Well, I'm just clicking this little tick over here by relations. Um, and make sure you don't connect the top bone to the root bone that we made before. It's not going to do us any favours. Alright. Gladly, this is symmetrical, so grab X, we're going to move it over. We're going to try and line all this up. We can grab the little circles too, G, X. This one, G, X. We're just putting it down the centre of the hair. G, X. G, X. And let's not... Um, extrude more bones because it's, it's 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 basically already rigged let's not make this harder for ourselves I'm just passing numpad 3 to go into this view G Y because we've already sorted the X inside values G Y I also want to adjust the position of these bones oh actually they, they also have a weird name so let's rename that side hair left side hair or we could do another one side hair underscore l what's important these names are good side hair underscore r 
it helps with getting things symmetrical so you can do two sides at once instead of one side at a time so we're just going to hit G and X and bring this over a little bit and then pad 3 I'm going to bring the tops back G, Y and that is good to me and this is another fringe piece Gonna grab the top one, G Y, bring that out a bit, and this one too, G Y, and bring the whole thing out. G X. So this is the fringe. These are the eyes, the head, etc. Okay. I'll just select this and then shift, click all of those, control A transformations control a rotation and scale now this should move a lot better when it comes to rigging um i'm also thinking of adding an extra bone to this part of there this little part here now you don't have to do that but it does look a little bit nicer so i'm going to quickly do that edit mode control a oh shift a to make another bone grab Scale that down. Grab, scale that down. I'm gonna put that there, here, and this is the fringe root. Grab that. Shift click on the fringe root. Control P. Keep offset. Just doing to numpad three. Bringing this in the y direction, and this also in the y direction. I'm gonna name that fringe top fringe A because this isn't symmetrical now so we're not using left and right if it's not symmetrical fringe A and fringe B alright let's go to edit mode so we're going to do armature control click and this is important click on the armature first then control click on the fringe because we're doing the fringe first then we're going to go into weight paint now i'm going to click this little bit here i'm going to go into wireframe in the viewport of shading up there and we are going to sort some settings so we're going to uncheck front faces only and we're going to change the fall off to projected when we do that and we have add we can do this and we can blur blur is just this little teardrop shape there and if we are that will control that little hair piece I'm actually gonna blur it a bit more Alrighty. Now, some of these parts are symmetrical, so I'm going to open this menu back, go to Tool, Options, and X mirror on. So now, if I edit this, it should mirror on the side. The only reason it won't is if your bones are not labelled correctly, or it's not symmetrical. So I'm just going to grab this and smooth out here. I'm going to actually subtract the paint on this because it's a little bit, it's a little bit much. Also, might be better if I blur it too. So it's just not very strong not very sharp so on here it should also be pretty smooth I'm gonna blur this okay so if we R and Y it can move um, now personally that does have a bit too much control so I'm going to first see how the head layer looks and I'm gonna smooth that out
if you feel like you're this is all taking too long you can all oh, you can always uh put the strength up but mine's the top so it's not really gonna do much for you all right now back to this bone just moving that out i don't know why that looked like that and then we're gonna go to subtract and get rid of some of this and blur this again so I just don't want it to pass through the head. So this is good for me and this bone should should look very similar. So first I want to subtract this because I think it, it's moving a bit too much. bit too chaotic. We can go to this and smooth it out because this is a mess. Going to go to subtract brush. Oh, make sure you're in the right mode. Subtract. And subtracting some of these. It's a bit on the chaotic side. Alright. So if we move that and move like this, which is a lot smoother than what it was before. And this part now. Yeah, you want to try to keep it off these sides because these sides these sides will narrow. Of course you can always add more um, bones if you need to. Right now I think this is fine. If you give power to um, one section that has two bones it will kind of squish in a neat way like this. Because it's also being controlled by this. If you're a little bit confused about what we're doing, we're just telling the bones what they need to be moving. So we can do cats, stop pose mode. I'm gonna do the same thing on the hair. So that and then hair armature, control click on the hair, and then white paint. So now that shouldn't be controlling anything that the head on the other hand should be. So what the head does is says to this mesh that if the head moves it will also move this part and also anything connected to it, any of the bones connected to it. And this says that, that say so if this bone moves that's how much control it will have of it. So this I personally think doesn't really need much editing. Let's hide this picture. Some other people might disagree. Um, but if you are going to do anything to it, blurring is always good. Helps smooth out some of these curves. It makes them less harsh. Yeah, I didn't put X merit on. Remember to put X merit on. It'll save you an arm and a leg. I probably ruined it a little bit. Um, I can teach you something that will help fix it if you've done what I've done and forgot to put X merit on. Yeah, I feel like this isn't as neat as the left side. So it's not hard to fix. It's a little time consuming. So if I want to copy all the left side over to the right side, I want to grab all the left bones. Let's do, what's this called? Material preview. 
we can go to all of these bones and delete the mesh for it, but not yet. We want to make sure these copy over fine. So we're just gonna grab that little arrow, copy here, a little arrow, copy here, little arrow, copy just all the way down, copy this and copy. Now we go to these copies, you'll see because it says copy, I'm gonna mirror them all. I should mirror. Um, mirror versus group. Uh, here, mirror. Here, mirror. And here, mirror. Now they've all mirrored successfully. We can actually just get rid of the originals. So make sure it's named the right thing. You can get rid of it, or if you're really scared, you can name it something else and just keep it there for a rainy day. But I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that, and delete that. And then come scrolling down to where the copies are. They're usually at the bottom. And we're going to rename them so, they, so they're linked to the bone. They have to be named exactly the same as the bone was. So ours is going to be very simple. It's just R-A-G-H-T space ponytail and then we just get rid of the underscore copy. And automatically it snaps to the bone. You just do that all the way down. I'm just going to copy this. I wonder if it automatically names it. It does. It should be two. Control V. Trophy. All right, look at that. All fixed. Um, the more blurry things are, usually the more smooth it is. So I just keep that in mind when rigging it. But also the more blurred things are, and when I say blurred, I mean, so around the bone will be one color or like a spectrum of colors. And then if it bleeds into this other section where the other bone is, it'll also take control of that section. So obviously the more you do that, the smoother all these turns will be. If it's not smooth, it'll, it'll be quite jagged and very boxy, not twisty like this. All right, I'm going to leave this as is. This is good to me, this movement. And then we're going to cats stop pose mode. We can go to pose, file, save, and mess around with this. Now, it's not going to be a huge difference from just doing a data transfer, but I don't know if you remember, it was not as smooth as this was from the start. So I always recommend doing going the extra centimetre because it's not that that difficult. I'm just doing this sort of thing. Alright, well that's how to rig the hat. It's not that difficult. I hope you found it useful. Next time we're probably going to be cleaning up this mesh a little bit. We'll have to see. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next video. V raid class, I guess. Fellow.